Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Time to cheap build in action. Brought to you in the early AM. To brighten up your day. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. I got all this done yesterday. Man, it took me a long time. Ah, it just took me forever. All night till midnight. But I got all this done. I got all these edges nice and looking real good. Everything's hinged, filled, sanded. Got this one done. Didn't worry about the inside because them get screwed down. Can't see them. I just wanted to get these edges and this inside part. But they all came out good, man. Look at these corners down here. I'll show you what I did. How about this? So good. I took a little block of hardwood, okay, nice square one, and I CA'd uh, some sandpaper to it. And after I got it filled, man, I just went over everything like that and just got them corners, just them edges, just perfect. And the corners look good. Went over that whole thing. And then I uh, wet sanded it. Finished up with my sander block, you know, got in there, but it don't, this worked awesome. You know, it didn't take but a second to make it. Quick and easy, baby. Okay. And I got these done. Now, I want to go ahead and I'm going to prime these before I hinge them. Just make it a little bit easier. I got them all done. But I want to go ahead and prime them. And, uh. And get that sand the same way with this it just make it a little easier I'm gonna spray them when they're on there I'm gonna hinge them and spray them but uh, that way I won't have to do it when it's already hinged like I do that one but I like painting them especially a camo paint job you know uh, with them hinged now what I gotta do is I gotta show you guys this I'm gonna call this Bob O'Neill ain't gone bad. I don't know if <laughs> I was in a bit, such a hurry and I laid this wing up or what, but this is too far this way. This hole. It should be lined up more with this one to match that one. So, Bob O'Neill ain't gone bad. <laughs> but, it ain't the end of the world. I really. The more I think about it, the more I don't like these holes here anyway. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue that door on. And, uh, you know, like the, it's got a piece of foam on the bottom, so it'll be really stick sturdy anyway. Go ahead and glue that bad boy on there. And just cut me a new aileron hole. Uh, I put that there thinking I can, you know, like I did this side, but I... The more I look at it, the more I I don't like the angle, you know, when it should be um, 45 with your hinge line. So I'm going to go ahead and move it. I got plenty of room. That spar goes that way. This one goes this way and stops, remember? So I got plenty of room right there. Full size servo fit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out, glue that door on, and, uh, fill this edges and it'll look pretty good you won't be able to tell I'll just cut a hole here and then on my next set of wings I'm going to I can remember these are double face taped in my mold I could put that anywhere I want it I can put it here I can put it here I can put it here and still come out with that nice molded flange so my next set of wings I'm just going to go ahead and put them over there there's plenty of room for full size servo um, you know, what can we do? Got to have aileron. And they got to be right or uh, it'll lead to disaster. So, enough of that. That's the shopping. Draw in the shop this morning. You know what I mean? Oh, coffee cup's empty. Now what I got to do is to make sure all this fits. Make sure all this fits, you know. It all fits great, man. Just great. 
I can't believe how good that all fits. Bang! stand up they actually catch a bunch of the air so it's almost like a speed break it's, it's gonna it have to don't chop the throttle and put down the gear uh-uh things will stop but you gotta make sure all this stuff fits coming in doors that's that one that one looks awesome 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 and uh, then start figuring out where we need some filler. And this one here, I'm going to have to fill over where you can see them ribs a little bit. Next time I know I've got to take them ribs down, as you can see. See them just a little bit. Okay. decide to do it as soon as this is done you know I I know I'm not going to have time to after we fly it and it flies great I know I ain't going to be wanting to take it apart and paint it <laughs> I'm going to have other things to do you know there's going to be people wanting these it's going to be flying season and uh, I just ain't going to have time to take it apart, paint it, you know, I'm going to have other things to do when I could do this in just a few days right now, you know, I could go back later and, and touch her up a little bit and weather it a little more and do stuff like that, but I don't want to have to get into taking this thing all the way back apart, that'd take me a month to paint it that way, I don't know, I already got a lot of the paint, it ain't gonna cost me very all we gotta do is go buy some white. And uh, I wanna get a new tan color. I don't like that tan color. So I'm gonna use PPG and it's not very expensive paint. Damn. Anyway, it's just like this paint. Straight across them panel lines. Yeah. So we don't lose them panel 